I'm an artist um, from Norway, based in Berlin, and uh, doing a residence in Norway at the moment also. So I've traveled a bit, um, and I'm doing paintings, video, music. I left art school in 2000, and I moved to Berlin and I worked uh, as an assistant and things. I didn't really make art immediately. I tried to imagine other ideas to, to make a living, like working for others, assisting artists, getting residencies and grants. So I had like lots of different like um, ways of getting money and funding my projects. I've, I have a very clear understanding, I think, of the art world, and I've been working towards these things for the last uh, for the last five years. You know, like it's it's not going to happen in two years. It takes five to ten years, I think. Two months ago in uh, in Norway, in Oslo, I showed this uh, big canvas, four by two meters, uh, consisting of a hundred thousand Norwegian kroners, which equals uh, like sixteen thousand um, dollars. And um, at the end of the show, like two days before the, ending of the end of the show, it got uh, stolen. For two days I didn't do anything but take the phone from radio companies in Canada to newspapers in Hong Kong, you know. And it was like in the newspapers in Brazil and France and um, it's BBC, New York Times, LA Times. San Francisco Chronicle, whatever. Every newspaper I've heard about like, were sort of contacting the gallery or me or something. I wasn't interested in that sort of media hype, really. I was doing this piece for the sort of like the, the artistic uh, discussion, really, rather. It was sort of a statement that I have about like the emptiness of art at the moment, in uh, how like the media is, uh, how the market is sort of like extremely uh, overheated right now. I think it's interesting how like people often talk about like, you know, um, Crossing over from the art, from the white cube to the to the real world somehow, and uh, I think this piece uh, very much um, so really really blew up the gallery and and you know it reached the masses you know in the sense that it actually got stolen. Uh, of course, not for the artistic value of the work, but actually for the value of the material itself. I'm selling them for the same value of the of the money on the canvas. I'm not. I'm sort of giving it away, even losing money on the production and uh, stuff like that. So. It's more of an investment in a discussion rather than making money off my work. I've done a lot of um, different kind of works, um, very, often, um, very often with words, like writing text on the wall in different ways. Um, but I've also done like, very straightforward uh, um, painterly uh, or artworks that refer to painting in, ge in, in general. For example, simply using the, the painterly gesture. I did a, 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 a series of works where I painted myself into a corner. Like the titles were called Painting Myself Into a Corner, um, which is this uh, term that you're like starting from the outside of, the, of the, in the, the perimeter of the room and painting yourself into the corner, forgetting how to get out, you know? Which was a way I felt about my own art at some point. I think that piece, um, that series, sort of, um, people, a lot of people understood that and so and understood my critical attitude to, to artistic practice. I did those works outside and I did those works inside. I did them in the street, I did them in like defunct uh, buildings in Berlin, uh, and I did it inside of galleries in, in Italy. Um, but, um, and many of those word pieces have also been like installed, uh, I think also outside and inside. I have a background from graffiti, actually, as a, as a graffiti painter. So when I started out with doing art in the beginning, uh, I didn't have a studio. I didn't like. I didn't. Couldn't afford a single canvas to paint on or anything. So I was just making sketches. And I think the wall, the idea of doing a wall painting, was very uh, easy for me in the beginning because uh, I was used to it. And the size, the dimension of the wall, didn't really uh, represent a problem. I was comfortable with it. When I we started doing my first shows. I, I just I had access to these walls and I pure big white spaces I could like make large work, and I yeah I found it very easy. I don't think necessarily graffiti and art is the same, or graffiti is art the way I look at art. I think art represents um, a more complicated uh, way of thinking, uh, where it can we can bring 
up other issues uh, than what graffiti artists usually do in their work. I think graffiti in many ways is, uh, I like graffiti that is more about vandalism and uh, an immediate expression. I don't really care about uh, the, the advanced, uh, beautiful graffiti. There are rules for what, how to make graffiti and what graffiti is. And that's actually quite limiting creatively. Um, and I, I found a way to, to do something more ex experimental, I think, through the art world. I really appreciate graffiti for just like the aggressiveness of it, just the destruction of destructiveness of it. I think I kept certain, a certain aggressiveness or attitude from graffiti in the way I work and, the, and approach the art world today. Like this attitude of, of, of getting up, being present, uh, making spectacular work. Um, yeah, that kind of attitude, I think, is something I, I, I think I kept from that time, you know. I think my, like, one of my main inf interests um, and inspirations outside of the art right now is like, probably music. Um, I listen to a lot of music. This big wall painting in this, wall, in this, in, in this show called um, Death to All Culture Snitches is actually taken from a song by Two Lone Swordsmen, a British electronica band. Um, so I try to make these like, little hidden references to things that I care about outside of, uh, outside of the artwork. I haven't made artwork to fit into any scene or model or anything or form and uh, I think that's been the the, uh, the successful strategy then that I've been doing my thing no matter what and I've been doing these wall paintings that nobody could take away and um, when I finally do these like canvases that people have been asking me to do I'm doing money straight on the canvas no content but pure money you, you, you see what you get but it's actually so complicated because you can't even store it without being afraid of it getting stolen so it's, a, it's been a, I, I sort of, I've been playing around with this, never making it too easy, you know? And that's, I think, been the, that's gained, I've gained the critical interest, I think, from the, that attitude, really.